I don't know what's the problem now. He's the problem. Yeah, but what? What's the problem with his face? <laughs> <laughs> wow! Wow! wow. <laughs> Holy! <laughs> Jared remembers. <laughs> that swoon is savage. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to Quintessential MTG for another episode of Quintessential Commander. My name is Esman, today I'm joined by... The Chosen One. And I may or may not be met. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Martin, hi everyone. Uh, so some of you might have seen me a couple weeks ago, I think, on a 1K stream. Uh, so from, some, from time to time, I help out with uh, the equipment behind the scenes. And today we are playing with the two new Dominera United Precons against uh, two other Dominera United Commanders which of course I'm playing one that is voted by the patrons and every episode we do a patron shout out and this episode the shout out goes to Daniel, Daniel Nguyen. Nguyen The Chosen One <laughs> The Chosen One indeed <laughs> So if you want to support this show go check out the patron page Patrons get early access, they get to play spell table games and at the highest tier they get free signed merchandise we also have our merchandise web store, you can buy our stuff, we have playmats and t-shirts and we do international shipping for that as well. And also a big shout out to our camera equipment sponsor, Black Magic Design. These people make some of the best cameras in the world and we are using some of their equipment here for our faces. Faceless. <laughs> Faceless. And finally, a big shout out to Games Haven Singapore as well, we are filming in the Games Haven studio. So yeah, let's get into the commanders we are playing today. I am playing with one of the top voted patron picks from the Dominera United poll. It is Zer, the Eternal Schemer. Uh, this is an Esper, flying 1-4 thing that cares about enchantments. So the whole idea of this deck is to give, is to make my enchantments into creatures and give them a whole bunch of keywords and then get in for damage. So basically beating down my opponents with enchantments. And lifelink, something about lifelink. I've taken control of this poor sap today. I am the Hada, the binder of wheels. And I'm basically playing legendary tribal because all legendary things are my playthings. I've taken out the equipment synergies because it's just too many things. But <laughs> I'm upping the graveyard synergies because I'm taking my legendary creatures from the graveyard. The chosen one plays as a champion. Tetsuo Imperial Chicken because I am a champion. <laughs> Today, my sole job is to free Matt from the will of Jihada. So I have to kill him <laughs> one way or another. So you're gonna attack Matt, that's what you're saying. But also, <laughs> I know that Esmond controls Jihada somehow. So he must also die. So for today, I'm gonna be playing Jared. Carthalion. Jared's main goal here is to create a Kabu army and to send everybody across the Painbow Bridge. Painbow! 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 Yeah, so these pre-cons have actually been upgraded um, with a hundred dollar budget uh, while the non-pre-cons are budgetless. So we're gonna see how that stacks up. Uh, obviously, nowadays I think pre-cons are pretty well constructed so we're gonna have a hard time. <laughs> 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 the Let's champion go. does not yeah. understand this concept it's, it's of already heart. Cut, it's already cut into the <laughs> intro cut. already. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so let's see who starts first. Me. I will. Oh. Yes, <laughs> better, better. This is a better outcome. Martin, go ahead. I'm going to draw for turn and I will play a sense Deeped Citadel tapped, and I'll pass my turn. Nice. Alright, my turn drop. I'll lay Evolving Marks, and I'll immediately crack it. All the tap lands. All the tap lands. Okay, I'll find a mountain, and there's a better view tap, and say go. Alright, I will draw. Haha! -ha. I will play a tap Bojuka Bolt. When it enters, I will <laughs> exile all cards from Matthew's graveyard. Value! My Evolving Marks. <laughs> Gets exiled and can no longer evolve. <laughs> yes, I'm done. Go ahead. I shall draw. I shall. Oh, oh no. Whoa, 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 what? Oh no, what? Play a Bud Steinmeier. What was that? <laughs> I will tap. Paying a life. Zender's Lounge is found. 
enters tapped and I pass. Alright, untap. I think tap land is gonna be a big theme for me today. Yeah. I'm gonna play another tap land, uh, Nomad Outpost, enters tap, nice. and I'll pass my turn. Tap, keep, draw. You think you're the only one, Gabriel? Oh, oh. <laughs> I lay a place. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Yeah, tap two, because I can sick that. Oh, very so good, very good. Imitation is the best form of flattery. <laughs> <laughs> so you go, I will I tap. Uh, draw. I'll play planes, and then I'll tap two, and cast Starfield Mystic. It's a human cleric that makes my enchantments cost Ramp one spell. less. Yes. Kill it with fire. Ramp for enchantments. Kill it with fire. I'll pass. Untap, draw. I will play an island, and I'll play Kill this. Ember Claw Familiar. When my commander deals damage to an opponent, the commander deals damage to each other opponent. And I pass. Draw for turn. And I will play... Tap land number three. Island. Oh! Oh, oh all the colours. Yeah, we've got all the colours ready to go, but I have nothing in my head. So I'll pass the turn. Oh no. Alright, my turn. <laughs> tap. Keep draw. Okay, I'll tap three. I'll cast my first legendary spell of the day. I cast Bontus Monument. Ooh, nice one. Okay. And I can discount my black creatures. Yeah. Then I'll lay my land for a turn. A Boros Garrison. I return the planes to my head. Okay. Your turn. Draw. I will play land for turn. Shattered Sanctum. It will enter untapped because it's my third land. Then I will tap one white and I will play Brave the Sands. Creatures you control have vigilance. And my creatures can block an additional creature. Oh shit, nice. So sick. I'll tap two, and I'll cast the Restoration of a Ganjo. Alright, so chapter one, I will search my library for basic planes and put it into my hand. Can the two of your budgetless decks just <laughs> fight each other? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so planes goes to my hand, and then I'll move to combat. Starfield Mystic will attack Gabriel. There is no Gabriel at this table. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Your attack fizzles. <laughs> Your attack fizzles. Two damage from the mystic. Okay. And then that's it. I'll pass. Untap. Draw. Play a Castle Ventress. Because I have an island, it's untapped. Nice. I will tap two mana for Sword of the Animist. Ooh. Black mana for Vobal Sword. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Sword of the enemies will find me lands. And Vopo Sword will win me the game. Wow! <laughs> Kidis will try and free Matthew from the clutches of Jihada. Okay, take. No blocks. Okay. How many? Okay, one damage. One. Wow! So pain! And I pass. I'll draw for turn. And I'll continue on my quest. To cast Jared. <laughs> to get Jared out on the field. <laughs> I'll land for turn. I'll lay in a mountain. And I will pass my oh turn. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Okay, my turn. And tap. I'll keep draw. Probably a Temple of Triumph. Get scry. That's terrible. Bottom. Tap four. I'll cast the new card. Kadrick. Kadrick. Sadrick. Soul Kindler. He gets to continue the legendary team. And uh, I get to copy my other legendary creatures. And then Bontus Monument will trigger when I cast a creature spell, I drain one life from each opponent. Oh no. Oh yes. Back to 40. Take that! <laughs> Kedis! I'm done. I will draw. Restoration will trigger. So I may discard a card. When I do, I can return a permanent card with MV2 or less from Graveyard to the Battlefield tab. I will discard a Demir Signet. And I will return it back to the field tab. La la la. La la la. And then, because I'm still playing Ozo for now, I will play a Swamp. And I will tap 3 mana. And I will cast a Nightmare Shepherd. The demon that's also an enchantment creature, 4 4 flying. So, whenever another non token creature I control dies, I can exile it and make a token that's a copy, except it's a 1 1 and a, and a Nightmare. Blah blah blah. Kill it. And then I'll move to combat. Starfield Mystic with Vigilance will go at. The Gabriel, the Gabriel one. Alright, two damage. And that's it, go ahead. Untap. And draw. Oh no. I will equip. <laughs> Kidis. No lands. And Kidis will go at. Esmond. Let's do it. 
Martin! <laughs> How dare you! On attack trigger, I find a basic lab. He has nothing on board. Yeah, you're just bullying oh, him. Bro. Yeah, such a bully. Is this what Tetsuo does? <laughs> Where is your honor? Mountain enters tapped and Martin takes two. Alright, I'll take two. Yeah. Jared remembers. And I pass. Draw for turn. Ha, huh, finally something. Yes. But now it's turn five, so. <laughs> <laughs> I will play a Cinder Glade. Comes in untapped because I have two basic lands. Mm -hmm. With five mana, I will cast Jared. Nice. Draw for five. Jared comes in. Jared is a Kavu maker. So I will activate his uh, first ability and I'll create a Kavu. Nice. That's all colors. And with that, I will pass my turn. Okay, draw. Okay, earlier smoldering much for turn. And then I tap six. And cast Blade Wing. Oh, Deathless the new Blade Wing. Tyrant, yes, the new Blade Wing. Oh my gosh, Flying Haze. Is just a legendary creature. Just. Just a legendary creature. Uh, Bontus Monument will trigger. I will drain one life. Okay. I can't pay for Kedrick, Gadrick, Cedric. So I'll go to combat. Alright. Attack Esma. <laughs> Sounds about right. Anyway, okay, I'll take six then. Alright. Useless dragon. Useless dragon. Just a dragon. Just a dragon. Yes. I'm done. Alright. Time to smack you back with vengeance. Untap. Draw. Trigger on the restoration. It will exile. And then return as an enchantment creature with vigilance. Land for turn, I'll play a Plains. And it is time. I will tap 3 mana. And I will cast Zer. The Infernal Zer. 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 So now all my enchantment creatures have Death Touch, Lifelink, and Hexproof. Nice. Death Touch, Lifelink, and Hexproof. So what you're saying is we need to hit you harder mm -hmm. to make up for the lifelink. No, that's not what I'm saying. Sounds about right. <laughs> that's right. I will move to combat. Nightmare Shepherd will be vigilant and smack Matthew for four. Death touch lifelink damage. Sure. I'll take four. Yeah. Death touch lifelink damage. I will gain four. Death touch lifelink damage. And that's it. I'm done. Draw. I will tap an island to cast a ponder. Very nice. Yay! Yay! <laughs> He's pon pondering hard. The pondering champion. Alright, okay, I will draw. I will play a Dragon Skull Summit. Ooh. This is terrible. I don't want my caddies to die, but... But... <laughs> but... But it must. <laughs> For the greater good. Martin, can you take two damage? Of course! <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Martin, that is no! Say oh, no! <laughs> Deny him the land! The but Garden. Jared remembers. Oh yeah. Alright, I'm going to combat. Caddis will go at Martin. Okay, Attack okay. trigger from the sword. I will find a swamp. A swamp. A swamp. Will you be so kind not to block? <laughs> of course not! <laughs> block it! So Alright, I'll block it. Nice! <laughs> this thing is scary! Can it dice? Yeah. Nice! <laughs> nice! This is not nice! I shall tap 4 to cast Padim, Council of Innovation. <laughs> Artifacts and Fake Proof. Oh. oh. Okay. He quotes the chosen one. Impress me. <laughs> and I pass. Untap. Are you sure? Draw for turn. I will pay 5. Okay. And I'll cast Tome of the Guild Pact. Um, oh, that's a good yeah. one. So this guy lets me draw a card whenever I play Multicolored Spell and I can tap it for mana. Very nice. And Sweet. then I will lay a Command Tower for turn. Nice. Best lane ever. And I will blast Jared, create another Kabu. Kabu. Yep, and I'll pass my turn. My turn, and tap. Okay, draw. Uh, Esmond's board, man. That's right. It's just a bunch of enchantments. Christmas board, man. Okay, I'll lay a planes. Yeah. Ah, fine. When in doubt, go for the command zone. Nice. Yep. Okay. I'll tap four. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll cast. Oh, no. Oh, no. Binder of wheels. Oh, no. He yes. has henshined. He has henshined. I will plus Dihada and target Blade Wing. Wait, so what does he get? 
Vigilance, Lifelink, Indestructible. Okay, so you're trying to copy me, but not as good. La. Huh? What do you mean not as good? <laughs> Better. <laughs> okay. Yes, I'll go in combat. Okay. Blade Wing will attack Esmond. Okay, I will take 6 Lifelink right. damage. Yes! Lifelink Death Touch damage. And I will gain. <laughs> this, this is not going anywhere, Matthew. Dihada has time. Dihada has lasted very long. Yes, sure, sure. I'm done. Alright, on your end step, I will activate the Zer. The ability of Zer. The Zer. So I'll tap 2 mana, target non aura enchantment I control, which is Brave the Sense. Will become a creature. Very nice. It's a now it's a 2-2. Two -two. It's a 2-2 two -two killable. Kill two, yes, 2-2 two -two killable creature. Oh, but it's it's hexproof. Got them. Bobat, please. I will draw. Still no blue lands. I will play a white and black land. Fold of champions. I will tap 5 mana. And I will play True Conviction! Double strike. Yes, creatures I control have double strike and lifelink. Yep, Shit. sure. Hmm. So what, you're really going to try and fight me lifelink for lifelink? <laughs> yes. Now it's double, double strike and lifelink. I don't know, I feel like if, if this continues, right, they're just going to have a lot of time. Uh, yeah, absolutely right. Yeah, so let's, let's, let's spread it out. Let's be fair. Yep, alright, alright. I'll just do the most logical and efficient play. I don't understand why I'm at 33 though. Okay, I'll, I'll make you less than 33 then. No, no, no. <laughs> nice. Very nice. We'll have life link. <laughs> Nightmare Shepherd will go at Jared. Mm -hmm. uh, Architect of Restoration will go at Martin. Brave the Sands, Zer, and Starfield Mystic will go at Gabriel. Okay, and all of them have double strike. All of them have double, double strike, strike life, link. life link, and vigilance. And um, the enchantment creatures have Death Touch and Hexproof as well. And on the attack, Architect will trigger. I will get a 1 1 Colorless Spirit token. That is not an enchantment. Can I respond? Okay. I'll pay 2. Now cast Kogari Charm, oh. targeting whoa. the double strike. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, 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 whoa so whoa, destroy whoa. target enchantment. Well, I'll respond to that then. I'll activate Zer. Yeah, he will turn me into a thing so he yeah. gets hexproof. So I'll make True Conviction into a creature and then it gets hexproof so the Kogari Chump fizzles. Right, so this fizzles. Right, okay. so Tome of the Good Pack triggers. I will draw a card. Yeah. And yeah. then. No blocks. No blocks. Uh, no blocks. Okay, so damage then. Jared dies. Jared dies. So Gable takes 10 and then. I take, six. take 6. I think it's pretty and obvious now why. We should attack Esmond. I gain 16 life. I think it's become pretty clear why we should attack Esmond. Uh, I'll pass. I'm tap! <laughs> and draw. I'll tap 3 to cast Sword of Feast and Family. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> very, very useful. I'll tap 2 to equip it to Padim. So it's pro black green. Yes, it has to attack Martin only. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, Martin. What do you mean it's pro black? It's white. Remember your mission. <laughs> Dihada. Dihada, I need Dihada. to swing at you. Is that okay? You won't you won't get the sword trigger if you hit Dihada. No, no, uh, at you, Jihada oh, yeah. Matt. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Jihada Matt. But look, I just do not need you to block. I'm not gonna block Padim. Yeah. Alright, Padim goes at Jamat. Jamat. <laughs> no blocks. Take three. Three. I get to untap my lens. And, and I discard a card. You discard a card. Yes, I will discard. Oh, okay. I discard Teshar. Oh. Ancestors Apostle. I will then tap three to play my commander. Tetsuo! Excellent. Excellent. The champion is. Champion! What, what does he do? Oh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I will pass. Draw for turn. Okay, I'll play Forest. Yeah, I think the ball is getting a bit. Out of hand. Oh no. Oh, oh, no. no! I just cast Tetsuo! <laughs> yeah. Does that make you happy? It, yes. it does, it does. Because now Jared is alone in the command zone. So yes. I think I will pay 5. Okay. And then... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll cast Iridan Maelstrom. Oh wow! I'll destroy oh, all... Oh, wow. Destroy each creature that isn't all colours. Oh my goodness. And I believe that only two creatures are all colours. And then cast trigger of Iridan Maelstrom uh, will allow me to draw a card. I'll draw a card. Okay, so any response? Still I have no response. I will tap one. I'll play slip out the back. Oh! oh. Targeting Zer. Tetsuo. 
A samurai slipping out the back. Where is your honor? <laughs> it's a tactical retreat. Where is your honor? <laughs> okay, so you get the right. plus one counter and it phases out. So Tattoo is out and all the creatures die. Nope. Blade Wing will not die because Blade Wing is still indestructible. Oh, ah. indestructible. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I have some complicated triggers that we've been checking out. Nightmare Shepherd will trigger because all of my stuff were, were creatures. Uh, I will exile them all and then they will come back. But only Archetype of Restoration and Starfield Mystic and Zer will come back as 1-1 Nightmare creatures. Uh, and then Brave the Sands and True Conviction, even though they were creatures when they died, but when they come back, those are not copyable values. So they're just going to come back as enchantments. Yes. And then it's still Martin's turn to attack. And it's still my turn. <laughs> I will move to combat. I'll uh, swing with both my Kavus at Esmond. Okay, Architect of Restoration, the 1-1 one, one will just... I can block both, but I will only block one. <laughs> okay. Uh, first Strike damage because of Death Touch will kill the Kavu. Okay. And then I'll gain one life from the First Strike. Okay, first strike. And then Normal damage, uh, the Kavu will do me 3, three? damage. Alright, and you make a dude. Oh yes, and the block trigger, my Spirit comes back. Great. 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 Okay, and then I will end my turn. Alright, on Martin's end step, I'll tap 3. Uh, channel so Kenzan. Oh, okay. Crucible of Defiance. It costs one less because I have one legendary creature. Yeah. Now get two Spiritos. Very nice. My turn. Untap. Keep draw. Let's see. Okay, I'll, for turn I'll lay a Shivan Gorge. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some ability on it, but it's a legendary land. Yes, I will plus I'll plus the Hada on Blade Wing. Yeah. I'm going to combat. Yeah. I will once again attack Esmond. Six damage. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Just block with Zer. Nope, it's fine. I'll take it. Down to 38. Yeah, I'll gain six. And since Bladewing did combat damage to a player, oh, no. it will trigger and I'll make a 2 2 black zombie knight for each creature in my graveyard. So I'll make two zombie knights with menace. They are menacing. Go, 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 go. Okay, I feel like that's bad. Then on my second main, I will tap four and cast yet another legendary creature, Tajik, Blade of the Legion. Oh, commanding a legion of spirits and zombies. So since I cast a creature spell, Pontus Monument will trigger, Hi. I'll drain one life. <laughs> yep. <laughs> My gosh! Yes. We have new problems. No? A very big one. And this these these are not problems. <laughs> these are not problems. I end my turn. Alright, alright. Uh, I will add that. Port uh, wipe. I shall play another white land. Lane. Yep, alright, so I will activate the copy the ability. And I'll tap two. I will turn true conviction into a creature. I still can't get through the blade wig, it's ridiculous. Need, need Tetsuo to kill the other. Yeah, Tetsuo will kill the other. I'm trying to get rid of the true threat, the eternal schema. <laughs> yeah, I'll just move to combat. Um, I will send the architect of restoration at Martin. Okay. So attack trigger, I'll get another spirit. I'll take it. Yeah, double strike, I get oh, oh. two life from the lifelink. And that's actually it. I'm done. Untap. Tetsuo phases in. Draw! Oh, this is terrible. This is so terrible. I have to untap my lens. You are preempting the Martin attack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're just preempting the Martin attack. Telegraphing the oh, Martin gosh. attack. <laughs> But Jared remembers. <laughs> okay. It's so unfortunate, Martin. I will tap 4 to equip Sword of Enemies and Sword of Feast and Famines to Tetsu. Okay. I'll tap 2 <laughs> to cast Talisman of Creativity. Right, then I go to combat. The champion will go at Martin. Uh... I will find a Mountain from Sword of the Enemies. Yep. Mountain mm -hmm. tap and Tetsu's ability will target Zer. Zer copy. Okay, I'll respond. I will tap 2 mana. And I will cast Sajiri Shelter. Ah, uh, I knew it. To target the Zer, I'll give protection from black. Okay. Okay, so the Tetsuo... That. Yeah. <laughs> the, the Tetsuo ability fizzles. Yes. And then we move to damage. Okay, and then I will take uh, that seven. seven. Discard a card and I untap my lens. Taking me down to 20, I will discard oh, a card. Seven. I will discard a Mind Rack Leash. Okay. I will have to pass. 
<laughs> I have no cards. Any cards? Sounds good. Sounds good. Draw for turn. I will pay a green and a white to cast. Jared's brother, Jensen, Carthalian. Oh, nice, nice. And then uh, Tom triggers. I will get to draw a card Whoa, from Tom. What Jensen does is that whenever I cast a multicolored spell, I get to scry. And then if that spell is all colors, like Jared, Ooh. I get to create a 4 4 angel with flying. You get to create vigilance. a what? 4 4 angel <laughs> oh, with flying and yeah. vigilance. Unbelievable. I need one more. I'll play an island for oh, turn. Oh, no. Pay seven. Oh, no. The brother is out. Uh, using Tom. Jared comes back. Brothers! Draw a Two triggers. I will draw a card from Tome. Why not scry first and then draw? Oh, I get to scry? Okay, I'll scry first. And I will keep it on top and I'll draw. Okay. And, then you and because... Uh, Jared's all colours. Uh, Jared's all, uh, Jensen, Jared's all colours. I will create an angel. And then I will activate Jared's ability to plus one. Kavu. Kavu. I get another Kavu. And... That's a pretty good turn. Yep. What do I do now? Hmm... I remember receiving a big swing just now from Hero. somewhere in this general. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that general but direction. But we have bigger problems. Yes, we have bigger problems. Right next to you, Eugene. Yeah, like right here. I think I'll do the best thing I can, which is just pass the turn. Oh. Now bite my time. Alright, he's All right. biding his time. So on uh, Mr. Biding His Time's end step, I will activate Shivan God. Each opponent receive one damage. Okay. Ouch. Dum, dum, dum. It's three damage. Okay. My turn. Draw. What is this? Hmm. I'll tap one. I'll cast Faithless Lutic. Okay. I'll draw two cards. Hmm. And discard two cards. No. Then I'll pay three. I'll flashback. Faithless Looting. Alright. Draw two. Oh! Interesting. Okay, I'll discard these two. I'll get rid of the port white. I'll go for the wow. I'll go for the greedy play. I'll plus the harder once more. Anyone else? No, Blackwing. <laughs> Boring. <laughs> <laughs> if it works, it works. Yes. I'll go into combat. Okay. I will attack, but this time with more stuff. I will attack Esmond with uh, Blackwing, Tajik, and the two zombie knights. And then uh, on the attack, Tajik will trigger because of Battalion. Oh, then Tajik will get plus five, plus five. Okay, so because I've braved the sand, so my one creature can block a menace creature, right? Uh, you what? No, that's not how it works. That <laughs> is, is that not how it works? No, that is not how it works. Your 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 one creature cannot block my creature with menace, but your two creatures can block both my creatures with menace. Yes. Oh okay. right, yes. <laughs> yeah, so it works like so two for two. Two for two, but not in but, the way you mean. But I have. Okay. True conviction and architect <laughs> of restoration, which are both creatures, will block the two zombie knights. Yeah. Both of them have double strike death touch, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, so first strike damage, True Conviction does 6 damage to one, mm -hmm. and then Architect does 1 damage to the other one. Yep. So both the knights die and I gain 7 life. Yep, and then you receive 13, so it's 6. So I'll take 6 damage. Yep. Okay, I'm at 32. And I'll gain 6 you life. You're lifeling, right? Uh, on the combat damage, Blade Wing will trigger. For each creature card in my graveyard, oh. which is 1, 2, 3, I'll make a zombie knight. So I get oh, 3 the engine is zombie knights. Now do you see the problem? No, there is no problem. How much of his board did he lose? Nothing! Uh, block trigger, I get another spirit. He he also got a spirit, okay. You got three tokens. So, so you see, we... Right, I won't touch you, uh, we are, we're, we're helping, fight. We're, we're just helping each other. Like, you know, they're hitting each other. We're, we're hitting each other, each other so hard, but they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, okay, okay, yeah. Nice. okay, anything else? Okay, uh, yeah, I'm done. Okay, on your end step, I will tap two. And I'll activate the Copiza ability to target Brave the Sands once again. Okay. It will become a 2 2 creature. Swear. Then I'll untap. And draw something good, please. Oh no, it's so bad. I can't. I, I have to kill. I have to kill you, Lightning. Please don't. Don't. I'll play another land. You need my help. I'll play a swarm. But I have to gain life. Attack him. He gets a Blade Wing. Alright, okay, fine. I'll deal with Blade Wing. Okay, if you deal with Blade Wing, my stuff is definitely going. Yeah, right. okay, fine, I'll deal with Blade Wing. <laughs> <laughs> alright, after that tree, I'll Chaos Warp. Oh, very nice. Oh, okay, Blade Wing, good. Nice. Blade Wing, alright. Nice. Okay, Blade Wing gets shuffled into my library. No Blade Wing. From my angle here, this looks super ominous. Like, I can't see Matthew's face. <laughs> That's right. All I see is like yes, a hand yes. shuffling red. <laughs> yeah, absolutely right. Alright, I shall cut. Yes. Tetsuo, would you like Come to on, cut? Come on, Tetsuo. You are the chosen one for a reason. Quick. Damn oh! It. Yes, it remains on top! Okay, so it remains on top. Okay, then, let's calculate this combat. Okay, yeah, I'll move the combat. 
true conviction goes at Matthew's face. Nice. Everything else goes at the other. Everything else. Yes, and on that attack trigger, I'll get another spirit. Mm. Well, actually, I don't know why I'm counting so much. They will just kill the other anyway. Okay, in that case, I'll block Brave the Sense with two zombie decks. Oof. Alright, then after blocks, I will tap two. And I will channel the Ganjo. So I'll deal four damage to the target yeah. knight that is blocking. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, so damage, uh, the other will die. Yeah, the zombie nets will also die. Yep, the other goes to command zone. I already gained 2 life from Brave the Sense. And then for the rest, I'll gain the full double strike damage. So 12 up to 46. Then, then I receive 12 damage from 2, two conviction. Yeah, you gain 12 more. And I gain 12 more. Our attention has shifted once again, <laughs> so I have 58. And I am out of cards. Does it feel good, Esmond, to bully the hundred dollar yeah. upgrades? I will say go. Alright, untap. Oh, and end step, I will scry. What does this do? <laughs> uh, uh, well, uh, pretty good though. Alright, I'll put this on top. Put this below. Draw button. <laughs> I'll tap three. Yeah. I'll cast a Prismari command. No! <laughs> nice. I deal two damage to Zer. Nice. And Very I draw nice. two discard too. Very nice. Yeah, okay, the dice. The copy the dice, at least. Draw two. And this card two. I will tap one. I, I so can Shadow Spear! Oh, oh no! Shadow Spear. I will equip my Shadow Spear. Shadow Spear. Shadow. I guess we have solved a lot of problems. They lose in the shock balls, right? Yes. yes. And now you too have lifelink. <laughs> I'm gonna come back. Uh, Matthew just goes at you. Me? <laughs> he just established himself as the problem now. <laughs> that, that our Tetsuo's trigger, I will use his second ability because feed the swarm. Ooh, okay. Second ability, you can cast into the sorcery. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay, so feed the swarm. Targeting. True conviction. All right. Yeah, with the creature. So it dies. Uh, because it's also an enchantment, and it goes to the graveyard. Starfield mistake will trigger. Gets a plus one counter. So it's a two two. Alright, uh, other triggers I find a land. Yep. You also lose 6 life from yeah, Phoebe. Right. <laughs> Go to blocks, Matthew. Huh? <laughs> what? Yeah. I get a block. Uh, yeah, take it, I guess. 8-8. Eight, eight. Yeah, take it. I'll take it. Yes, lifeling. And I untap my lands that don't do anything. Alright, and that's my turn. Okay. Martin. Yes, I'm ready, I'm ready. Don't attack me, please. Oh. Oh, uh, oh, whoops. <laughs> something, something Jared that. remembers. <laughs> Draw for turn. No. Seaside Citadel comes in uh, tapped. Yes. <sighs> okay. Many things I can do. Oh, no. You are the only guy with cards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only guy with cards. <laughs> this is irritating. It'll take a bit of time, but I think it'll be fun. Because I do have something that can give people cards. So I will pay uh, four mana to cast Knight of New Alara. So oh each, my gosh. each other multicolored creature gets plus one plus one for each of its colors. Oh my god! I told you! Which means the Kavu is now eight. Very yeah. nice, very nice. Then, then yeah. Jensen and Tom trigger, right? He scries and Tom triggers. Yeah, so oh. I will scry one. I will bottom. Oh. And then draw. Oh, I, cut yeah. I Any will magic. activate Jared's ability uh, to plus one. I'll get one more Kavu. 8-8 8 8 But this guy is, is sleeping I'll cast another creature Please help me with the pronunciations Zyris The oh, Writhing nice. Storm oh, Very nice The Writhing Storm The Writhing Storm Oh yes, card draw Right, so uh, This guy, he's a 3-5 flyer And whenever uh, someone draws a card Apart from the first one I get to create a snake And whenever uh, this guy attacks And deals combat damage to someone Both of us get to draw yeah. uh, that many cards Oh six yeah, eight. it's a 6-8 six, oh, six, <sighs> So you draw six, six cards. Eight flyer. Oh wow! Oh. Wow! Right, you guys get to draw cards now, yeah. and then uh, Jensen, I get to scry one. Uh, oh okay, I will keep it on top and I'll draw it. Oh, six. Oh, six. Oh. Uh, and then I will now go to combat. Okay. Okay. And then I think I will just uh, bring his life total down. Everything, like everything, just smack as Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah. This is yeah. so everything so that 20, can attack will yeah. attack me. Everything can, and so then this attack. is four. So twenty-four. Okay. Okay. 
do 30 I odd take, life. I will take the 24 damage. Oh, 34 life. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, only, it's only 24. Yeah, it's like only 24. <laughs> And then I will pass my turn. Alright, then on my and step, I'll activate mm -hmm. Shivan Gotch and bring everyone for one. Ouch. Okay. Okay. Draw. Okay, I'll cast the other again. Okay. <laughs> Very important. Sure, sure, okay, sure. but this time I'll minus any cards. So I will review the top four cards on my library. I'll put any number of legendary cards into my hand and then the rest uh, that I don't put into my hand, I'll put in my graveyard and I make treasure for each of them. No legendary cards. No legendary creatures. So one legendary card. That's yeah, so one legendary good. card. Okay, one so legendary. I'll put your most valuable in my hand. He cast it now, my goodness. And the rest of my graveyard, I'll make three treasures. Okay. I'll make a, I'll just make a token effort. I'll attack Gabriel with a zombie net. I'll take two. Yes. <laughs> Alright. That was my very valuable turn. Okay, I'll dead. Top deck! I found my blue source. Very play nice. Watery Drift tapped. Nice. Uh, but then I will tap 5 using my signet. And I will cast Zer. Zer. Zermander. So he's back. Well, I'm going to tap 2 and I will use the Zer's ability to target Architect of Restoration. Alright. So now it goes back to being a 3 3. And then I move to combat. My two enchantment creatures will attack Gibro. What, what's this? <laughs> Who else can I attack? Can you just attack me with one creature? Uh, I need to gain life. You, you have 33! <laughs> uh, 5 damage. 5 death touch lifelink hexproof damage. I will go up to 38. Nonsense. And I pass. I will scry at your end step. Yeah. Alright, I shall put one on top and one below. Oh. I will untap. And I will scry again. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, I draw. Yeah, yeah. I will tap four to cast a silent arbiter. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, actually good. So only one creature can attack each combat, okay. and only one creature can block each combat. I will go to combat. Esmen, Tetsuo, go at you. Nice, <laughs> very nice. Oh, we have death touch, right? Yes, yeah. yeah. Do we have death Are you touch? kidding me? Uh, attack! I will. Uh, Tetsuo's ability will not cannot kill. <laughs> 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 Tetsuo will go at uh, Matthew, unfortunately. Attack trigger, it will shoot. Yeah, it will shoot at uh, Knight of New Lara. Okay, and yeah, I have no response. Dies. The knight dies, and I find a land. Alright, I find a swamp. Okay, so attack trigger is done, let's block. Okay, so I block with Tajik, I reduce the damage by 2. That's trample, right? So I'll take 6. And then you gain 8. But the commander damage. Commander. I will untap because of sword. Yeah. I will equip my sword to the silent arbiter. Which sword? Yes. Peace and famine. I will equip Vopal sword. Finally. To the silent arbiter. Oh, you can't! Oh, oh my black. goodness! Oh my to Tetsuo! Oh. <laughs> and I will pass. <laughs> I'll draw. I saved you guys. But you didn't save yourself. He could save all others, but not himself. <laughs> Okay, land for turn, Rocky Tar Pit comes in play tap. Just the storage land, is it? Oh no, it's the, it's the fetch land. The, the yeah, early fetch slow land. Slow fetch. Uh, so you were saying you can give us cards? Yeah, I can, I can. With, with Zyris. Zyris. With Zyris. But only the person who's I, I would like some cards. Only the person who's being smacked. I will pay 4 mana and Bottas Liege. Oh. So everything gets plus, uh, red gets plus one plus one, green gets plus one plus one. Nice. So the Kavus become uh, plus five, plus five. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, I will scry and then I will draw. You, you know what, I will, I will draw this okay. and then I will move to combat... Hit me please, hit me, hit me, hit me! <laughs> For the <laughs> first time! <laughs> For the <laughs> first time! <laughs> hit me, hit me! <laughs> okay, I think I'll go at... At, uh, at me! Esmen. Yeah, no, why? the highest life total. With the highest no, no, life no, no, total. No, 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 no. Alright, I will take it. 5 damage. For 5, yeah. Okay, so I'll take 5 down to 30. And then we'll both draw 5 cards. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. And then no. Zyris itself will trigger. Not okay. So because I do 5 cards and it's okay. not my turn, you get 5 snakes. Snakes? Oh shit! Okay. Which Snack. are actually 2-2 two, two because of the leech. <laughs> Snack. I have way more cards than I need. In my second main, I'll just uh, play some creatures. I'll pay 3 mana for Leyline Prowler. Okay. And then yeah. triggers. <laughs> it's not getting rid of cards, yeah, you're still drawing the cards. cards. <laughs> okay, I will bottom this. Okay. And then I'll draw the next card. Yeah. 
Okay, then I'll just pay two uh, arcane signet. Okay. okay. And then the yeah, with my last two mana, then I'll cast Root Coil Creeper. Okay. Another multi-colored, so I'll scry. Oh, I'll draw it. Right, so I will activate the Jared. plus one ability on Jared. Go up to eight. Okay. More Kabu token. More Kabu. More Kabus. Four Kabus in total. I have 10 cards in hand, so I'll discard down to hand. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm discarding a Plains Murmuring Bosk and Time Wipe. Ooh, okay. Okay, sure. I'll pass the turn. Right. And tap, I'll keep it. Draw. I'll cast Stitch together. I will target Thresh Teshar, and because I have Threshold, Teshar, instead of going my, to my hand, will return to the battlefield. Good. Yes. Historic spell. Bring back something, is it? Yes, yeah. and then now, like I'll tap. Five. One of those is from a treasure for black. I will cast your most white offering. Yeah. So I'll uh, target Zer and Cedric. Okay. Yep. And then uh, Tesha will trigger. I return a uh, creature card with three or less from graveyard to battlefield. I return Felden. Oh, sick. Mm. Okay. Uh, yeah, I have no response. Zer goes back to the command zone. Yep. Second time. Second time. Then uh, Cedric returns to the battlefield. Yeah. That's bad. Uh, the Hada, I will plus on Tesha. Okay, okay. And end my turn. I will draw. Okay, I'll tap two and I'll play an Azoria Signet. Hello. What? Can you please yes? do something? Hello. Hi. <laughs> I think I will tap three, double black, and I will cast Oubliette. <laughs> when it ETBs, target creature, which is Tesha, will phase out until the Oblet leaves the battlefield. Yes. Tap the creature as it phases. Sure. Okay, I will play a land. I'll play Godless Shrine. Untap, so I'll shock myself for two. And then I'll move to combat. Only one creature. Only one creature can attack, yes. Okay, I, I will not attack. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I will, I will tap Castle yeah. Ventress and Scry 2. Oh my goodness, all lands. Untap. I will Scry 2 again. The heck? Unless the bird wipe is. I will draw. Yeah. I will tap 1. I will cast Aqueous Form. Oh, enchanting? <laughs> That's all. <laughs> <laughs> So are you going to actually remove me by Commander Damage? I can't! Uh, okay. Oh, Commander Damage! You're right, Matthew! Tetsu! <laughs> well, so you have 14 Commander Damage, right? Yeah, I'm currently at 14 Commander Damage. Uh, uh, combat tri attack triggers! Oh my gosh. Okay, so you have Sword Trigger, Echo's Form, and Tetsuo Triggers. Uh, enemies, Mountain Tap, Tetsuo will shoot Cartelion. Smaller Cartelion. Yep, Creature Cartelion. Okay. okay. That's Italian. three, right? He dies. And then he dies. Touch. Two. Damage. And because of that, because I do damage, uh, I gain life. Uh, and I scry! I will put it on top. Okay, any response? No, I'm going to die. Okay, Matthew dies from command damage. And I damage. gain 8 life. Alright, and that's my turn. It's a point of pride. Precon was seen as a threat. The other Precon will, will, will do it. Yes. I think... He's going to wipe the board. Yeah, I will wipe the board. Okay. Just want to make sure okay. I have yeah. the correct really colours. Like, Arcane Signet, 7. Seven mana. Seven? Oh, I, I, I wait, wait, what colors? What colors? Uh, is yep. it is it so, red, red, white, white? Yes, yes. It's red, red, <laughs> white, 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 black, black, white, black, black. Uh, and there then you go. It'll be Runa's ultimatum. Card. Okay, oh, I will respond. I will tap three mana. She's going to phase out. I will phase out with, with the, the fairy protection. protection. No, yes. oh, no, <laughs> piece of. <laughs> okay. Um, why? Why do you do that? Tetsuo, any response? Uh, no, I got no response. Okay, what? so I phase out and then uh, the first rotation resolves. What a scam. And then Ruinous Automaton resolves. What a scam. So all of Gabriel's permanents are destroyed. What a scam. What a scam. What? And then because I cast a multicolor spell, I get a draw card. Yeah. I will lay a mountain for turn. So I need to protect myself from Esmond the subsequent turn. No, yeah. can't touch you. I will pay oh, three. Or uh, Spirit of Resistance. So if I control oh a permanent gosh. of all colors, oh. prevent all damage, I'll be dealt to me. So this is my protection from Esmond. 
I will go to combat. I die. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Actually, before I go to combat, I will minus. Uh, make, just make a kavu. Just make a kavu. So I will bring him down to five. So I'm gonna put two of those and then plus five. Give me another kavu. And the uh, two guys. Piece. Okay. So like another turn. So two of your kavus are eight. Yep. Eight. Uh, two nine nine. Plus plus. Two are eight, ten eight, eight nine, ten. Can, can you give me one turn? One turn. Just one turn. I could, I could, but Jared remembers. But Jared, I didn't know that's Jared. Oh, so yeah, I'll attack yeah, with yeah. these. Uh, these are my attackers. So five snakes. Five snakes, uh, two carvos, which Zyrus. are 10 10, and then Zyrus. And I'm dead. <laughs> Just, oh, wait, wait, but there's a damage trigger. Yeah. So I, I draw cards, no, you, you don't, don't get draw. to draw cards. Oh, okay, so because you're dead, he doesn't get the snakes. Okay. Yeah, but he still did a combat damage, so that, so that damage is logged, so yeah. he gets the cards. Yeah. I drew my five. Okay. I have 10 in hand. <laughs> I will discard. I will phase in and untap. <laughs> and I will draw a board wipe. I will try to gain as much life as possible. <laughs> I will tap 7. And I will cast Zer. Zer is going to die. The Chanter. Then I will tap 2. And I will activate its ability. I will make Oblix <laughs> <laughs> into a 3 3 creature with Death Touch, Life Link, Vigilance, and Hex Proof. Okay. I'll send everything at your face, Martin. Okay. Attack trigger, I get another spirit. So do you want to block? He wants to fake you out with the removal for the enchantment and then you, oh well! You, yeah, you're not dead, you're not dead. Yeah, you're not dead. No. Double strike, I'll die. So are you blocking? So I'll block four of them with four of these. <laughs> yep. Okay, then before damage, I will tap three. Oh, it's really oh no. And I will generous give your uh, spirit of resistance. So destroy target permanent and you get a three, three. Elipon. But since you block, I think my creatures die and I can't survive the backswing. <laughs> okay, well, that okay. Amazing, amazing. Good, that was amazing. 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 Well, that, I that, think the, the, the early game. He drew too many cards. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so that is it for our Dominaria pre con versus non pre con decks. Uh, Wizards has done a very good job with these decks and <laughs> we have improved it by upgrading it. <laughs> Zer, honestly, was more fun than I, than I thought it would be. Uh, True Conviction is a good card. So it really was keyword soup in making enchantments in the creatures. I think I was right to remove all the equipment. Madu is, Madu is quite clunky by itself already, so I think I was right to focus on the graveyard synergy. The, if the equipment had stayed in, I think it would have been a lot more clunky. But yeah, I think, I think it did well. If Tetsuo had not removed you, if Tetsuo yeah, had not yeah, removed you, you, you would have been a big problem, I think. Yeah, I was, I was ready for the next turn, but yeah, commander damage is a thing. Yes. I got sliced in half. And you can also cast. Yeah, but you know, you fulfilled the prophecy. Yes. <laughs> Tetsuo saved Matthew <laughs> from Bihara's will. I think ideally you want to minus a lot more for the other. You want to you want to get more cards in the graveyard. You want more cards in your hand. Right, so right. Uh, because of that, you'll be casting the other from command zone a lot more. So right. you are a lot more mana hungry. Yeah, I think that need, that's the kind of tweaks that I would do if I was left without a budget. <laughs> Mr. Non-Budget Sword Guy. I fulfilled the task <laughs> of a champion. <laughs> Save and sacrifice. Well <laughs> Save and sacrifice. Well I like that. <laughs> well done. I needed a little bit more card draw. Mm. The start was a little bit slower than I expected, but the Sword of Feast and Famine uh, gave me a bit of a lead with casting multiple spells. Yeah, untapping the lands. Yeah. But it stopped the Vopo Sword. That's true. Yeah. I like how we're all saving the best for last. Yeah, you you, you want to know who did well? I'll <laughs> tell you who did well. <laughs> I, I think Jared got away like the early part of the game. Yeah. It was Your like, first spell was Jared. Yeah. yeah, it's true. It was very slow. I think the hand that I kept I, I, my goal was to get Jared out, so yeah. I didn't really consider much. And, and I was already determined from the start to ignore you because uh -huh. of this guy. Your opponents uh, <laughs> became targets instead of you. Did me a really big favour. Yeah. Oh, but this is, honestly, it's the first time I'm playing a 5 colour deck. Mm. Yeah, so I didn't really know what to expect, but it, it did really well. I like the fact that it's built around 5 colours mm. and yeah. casting multiple colours. Yeah. yeah. And the fact that the Kabus became big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the whole point of them having trample, right? The, the, yeah. the Kabus were destined to become big. What are you talking about? <laughs> Amazing though. I, I really I really like this uh, five color. It's very strong. I like five color decks in general. But this one, because it's built around having five colors, that makes it just more flavorful. Yeah. So yeah, overall, I think all the decks did very well. If you like this idea of uh, pitting budget upgrades against fully non-budget decks, let us know what you think of it. Should we do like a non-budget version? 
But then, you know, where do we draw the line? Yeah. But yeah, let us know what you thought of the decks, what we should play next. Did you enjoy my Zer? Alright, yep, yeah, so that was a good game. Hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.